I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um. Oh, <laughs> <Ew>, God. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the couch. Extreme Cheapskates has been popping off here lately. It's been like a new season or something. Yeah. I don't know. There's been a lot of good stuff coming out yeah. here lately. But today we're looking at America's cheapest mother on Extreme Cheapskates. America, out of all of America, the cheapest mother. And we, we watched some people last time that they mm. were trying to sell their house and they cut like pieces of their carpet out and it was like <laughs> very, you know, cheap about cheap, fixing their house. Yeah. And they were parents and that one kind of, I don't know, that one annoyed me. But uh, let's see, let's see if this mom, if she treats her kids right. Yeah. When you, when you start getting cheap, you know, kids aren't cheap. If you want to be a cheapskate, the last thing you need is kids, right? <laughs> but uh, let's let's see, let's see what let's see what she's got going on. A quarter. My kids are total cheapskates. Oh no no no, her kids are cheapskates. <laughs> got a quarter. The guy bring his it brought his piggy bank, brought his piggy on the bank wall. with him. Yep. I just I love. It's always like the very first thing they say in every video. Always gotta like. <laughs> what they choose to open with. My kids are cheap. Uh-huh. I'm Jordan Page, and I'm the ultimate cheapskate housewife. The ultimate cheapskate housewife. Oh, they didn't use that in the title. No, they no, didn't. No, no, they no. didn't. <laughs> housewife? Excuse me? Want to sit here? Okay. You oh, can sit God. here. I got to... I'm not one to hate or anything, but I feel bad for these kids, dude, already. They all got their dad's forehead. Man, yeah. <laughs> they all got their dad's forehead. Every right? one of them. Oh, my God. Oh, especially baby girl. Baby girl, she got the head pulled over the side. Man, woo! She's just like, please grow in right here. Go, she's mm. gonna need some bangs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, Ooh. dad hooked them up. A typical family of five can spend up to three thousand dollars a month on household necessities. How much did they say? Three thousand on how on how what household accessories? Ex what what? Where do they get the numbers from? House? Dude, you need a lot of TP. <laughs> I don't know. What, what? That's got to be like the extreme maximum because, I mean, I got a family of four, you know, <laughs> and uh, we, we're, not, we're, not getting, we're not getting those numbers. Holy crap. <laughs> but Jordan, a 27-year-old housewife in Utah, spends less than half of that. Well, as most probably real people do. <laughs> yeah. As most real people do, Mr. Narrator. Okay? <laughs> you guys want some waffles? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Give me some waffles! <laughs> oh, kids are so cute. Love waffles. Hit them with that watered down juice. The watered down juice, you know, wait until they're old enough and they have real juice. Their, their minds going to be blown. Yeah. <laughs> their minds going to be blown. But their kids, you know, the best thing about kids is that they don't, you know, they haven't got a hold of the good stuff. So, I mean, it's not really a bad yeah. thing. I wouldn't say watering down the juice. So they head to their friend's house. Yeah, no, like, what the? Like, whoa, dude, what? Wow. Where did you get this juice? Flavor. Oh, my God. What brand is this? <laughs> my juice you know? at home tastes like, like, <laughs> like half of this. We call it rationing. We're going to give you 14, so tell me when to stop. Ready? And remember, you need to eat all your Cheerios, or next time you only get 12. Ooh, <laughs> ration it out. All right. Here's 14 pieces of cereal. You don't eat it? You're getting less next time. Oh, wow. I, mean, I kind of get it because sometimes kids are like, I'm hungry to give them food and they don't eat it. Yeah. So, you know, as long, I mean, as long as he gets more, at, at first glance, you're like, what the? But then I think about it. It's probably not that bad, you know. Is she like, going off the serving size? The actual. <laughs> 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 probably. <it's, laughs> you read the back of the box. 300 calories per serving size, 12 pieces. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> One to 10 of being a cheapskate, 10 being the highest, I'd probably say at 11 or 12. <laughs> I'd rate, rate ourselves 10 being the most extreme cheapskates. We're like 11 or 12, bro. <laughs> we done crunk it up, bro. <laughs> Look at my big brain. Think I got a forehead? Nah. <laughs> I got an eight head. 10 being the highest, I'd probably say at 11 or 12. Okay, hey, Priya, you ready for your two lines of waffles? Yeah. Waffles are awesome because they have those lines, like a grid, and so Hutch is three, so he gets three lines of waffles, and I know that that's how much he can eat. This is breast milk here, and we love it because it's free. While they're young and they don't eat very much, I freeze as much breast milk as possible so that when they're done, then I still have a few months worth frozen to stretch it that much farther. I was trying, I was trying to think about the whole breastfeeding thing. I think, like, I'm pretty sure you produce as long as you feed your babies. At, at the boob. You know, I don't know if there's a cutoff date on that if you just keep doing it. Like, cause there's even like, 
like you know wet nurses back in the day and stuff they can just feed your baby yeah but i mean you know the breast milk's free dude get it yeah get I mean, it i mean that's hell put that in the freezer water that down and keep, <laughs> keep it going <laughs> Bacon's for Christmas. They think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> Get up a little bacon, Mom. Give me some protein. Christmas. That's what you go get in your yeah. <laughs> you get in your stocking. You'll unwrap it in yeah. the morning. Bacon! Yeah. Not even a stock. You get in your little sock. What are you putting a sock? <laughs> oh, come on, Mom. He just wants some bacon. Give him a piece of bacon. They think I'm a little crazy, but, uh, I don't know if I care <laughs> because it works. <laughs> you think I'm crazy, but <laughs> I don't know if I care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jordan has found some of the biggest savings in the bathroom, cutting her family's use of toilet paper from 300 rolls a year to only 40. The way to stretch your money is to make everything count. The whole family uses 40 rolls a year. A whole year. Oh. They shower in afterwards. <laughs> they, 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 they are also adding water <laughs> to this process or something. <laughs> Clean, no, no, what? No. You use it one square at a time and you, and you, <laughs> and you tear it in half. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you know, they're rationing out their food so they don't eat that much. They don't have to go to the bathroom very often. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Ah. Maybe. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. That's, that's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Mm. That's like less. That's one roll lasts more than a week. How much do you think daddy should use? Um, four. Jordan always harps on me for using too much toilet paper. Okay, let's try it. It's a sensitive subject. Four. Daddy gets four little little squares. Four little squares? Uh, why, why are you sweating over here Dude, so much? Four little squares? <laughs> Daddy's over here like, Dude, I'm tripping right now. <laughs> You're not the only one. You see dad every time it looks at him, he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> then we use like, no toilet paper, dude. Yeah, we don't wipe, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I use way too much toilet paper. I don't know, but that's. I want to see someone actually use this. The opportunity arose for us to build our forever home. Things changed with the economy. We couldn't qualify for the loan for the house, but we had already built the house. Losing the house really triggered her being an extreme cheapskate. Oh, so, okay, so they built their forever home and then they couldn't afford the forever home because the economy changed? Wait, what happened to them? I wonder what, As, Yeah, the economy. Well, I know like back in uh, 2000, when it was 11 or 12 or something, the housing market like had like a big, a big crash. You got the housing market and it crashes, okay. right? And so yeah. all the banks have like these houses. And so they start selling them for cheap and all these rich dudes come in mm. and they buy them all up. And uh, then when the market comes back to normal, they sell them. And so it, it looks like it's stable and good, but it's really just like the rich dudes getting richer. Not every, like, you know, but that, you know, eh, eh, yeah, eh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Their extreme saving measures allowed them to purchase a million dollar home. The original owners bought it for over a million, and we got it on short sale for about 450000 Then we were scrappy, and we sold the basement apartment to my parents for half. The original owners bought this house for over a million. They bought it for less than half. This house must have been, like, burnt down or something. Well, <laughs> how, how well did they do bodies it? have been found in the basement. Yeah. Where, where do they? Another thing when I think about uh, <laughs> cheapskates buying houses is where they live. Because if you live in, like, a big city... You're paying like a million dollars for this house right here. Just looking at it as, as it goes around, it's probably like a uh, two hundred to three hundred dollar house, like where we are, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. Maybe they waited until the crash, and they're like, "Oh, look <laughs> hey. at a cheap house here." Yeah. <laughs> then they sold the the basement to their parents. The parents lived down in the basement. Yeah, parents are in the basement. basement That's where all the bodies were. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the parents' bodies are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that life insurance. <laughs> 
<laughs> say she's this house really cheap. Listen, we, we might get haunted every night, but <laughs> but we make it work. They live a lifestyle that would lead one to believe that they're much more affluent than they are. Because I'm willing to pretty much do anything to save a buck. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, editors. Who edited this video? I'll do anything to save a buck. Walking down the street. Yeah. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. <laughs> you want my leftovers. It's that look right there, like, uh... like, like in the fridge, you want my... <laughs> you're the lady that lives in the million dollar house down there, right? And you yeah. out here asking me for my, for my leftovers? <laughs> That's the, the exact look I'd have on my face. Yeah. <laughs> my trash cans are right out there. <laughs> Go do, dig through yeah, that if, you, if you're that desperate. <laughs> She's not proud. It's like, hey, if you're going on vacation, you need to empty out your fridge, bring it over. I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um. <laughs> God. <sighs> so, oh my, ugh, ugh, that makes me cringe so much. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, people seem to tell well, We just went to the grocery store and uh, no. We bought it because we intend to eat it. <laughs> she needs to be out here asking for toilet papers. Yeah, you? that's what she needs to ask for. God. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'll get, look, God, look, I already went through my four sheets. And uh, I feel another one coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, help, help a girl out. <laughs> if I ask neighbors around here for food that I have, I'll probably end up getting some meth or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knocking the door to the back. Mm. <laughs> I'll get you something to eat. Don't you worry about that. Here, just smoke this. You won't, you won't ever be hungry again. But I'm going to need a ride and it'll have about $40. <laughs> Take me down to the gas station. Sometimes I'll give her eggs and sometimes some stuff from our garden. But I know that she's very frugal, and so I know she's probably gonna put it to good use somehow. They know her around the, the, the block, too. They know her, like, oh, God, here she comes oh, to the basket. here she is. You're asking for food or something. Yeah, all right, yeah. She's come, uh, she needs to just come live down south. There'd be plea right next to be like, oh, you need some deer meat? I killed, like, oh, 1,500 of them. <laughs> <laughs> I done gave to everybody I know and the church and the community, and I'm still <laughs> shooting them. <laughs> I'm just a blasting. <laughs> So this is what I like to call an end loaf. <laughs> in our house, we go through a lot of bread, and a lot of people don't like to eat the heels of bread, but after a while, it makes an entire loaf worth. You just have such a problem with it. Dude. I don't like the end loaf, man. You don't like the end loaf? I don't like the end loaf. The heels, I call it. The, pop the part I like about this is she keeps it until like it's a whole loaf. Yeah, I know. I mean, the first like, piece in there is probably like freaking. It's got to be freaking hard and. <laughs> uh. Uh, I mean, I eat the. I eat them. I do. What I've heard from other people that don't live in America is that our bread is very much like cake. Yeah. And so we like it that nice fluffy, that fluffy bread. <laughs> and I, and it's like the heel, which is more like actual real bread. And everybody's like, Ugh. Yeah. But anyway. My kids love it and it's still good, so. Kids don't know no better. Dashboard cookies. A neighbor of mine, she gave us some cookie dough <laughs> that was about to expire. With the car temperature at 160 degrees, she's finished baking for free in two hours. How much does it cost to turn on the oven? Okay. <laughs> it makes the house hot. Then the air conditioner comes on. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just turn the light off for a little bit, lady, and just swap it out. You know I, what I mean? The, the part I love about this most is like you're like over here, like like not understand this lady. I feel like I feel like you're pretty cheap. <laughs> Cheap. And you're over here like, what? <laughs> I am kind of cheap. <laughs> There's a new trend with backyard farming. I think oh, if we, no, no, hear me out. You pay 10 bucks for a chicken. Six chickens later, you're getting a half dozen eggs a day. <laughs> She's like, we can like have a farm in our backyard. And he's like, uh uh. You see, because there's like the HOA and like, there's like rules. We can't just have farm animals. It's actually illegal. <laughs> I think our cul de sac would be cool with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take care of that. Uh. <laughs> to the farm. Chickens. There they are. 
Hogs. Which one's going today? Cows. Yeah. We're in the market for some farm animals. What do you want to look at? Well, can we start with chickens? Absolutely. Okay. She's going to figure out that you have to feed the chickens. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that going to offset the cost of eggs? I don't know. <laughs> you can raise your own animals for a fraction of the cost as it would be to buy an organic package of meat. Yeah, if you're eating organic, because half that stuff is just marketing anyway, you slap organic on the package and it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, that means they, they're on grass and you go into like the, <laughs> where they're raised and they're all in the same cages, that just, there's, some <laughs> there's some grass on the bottom. It's so much yeah, better. Yeah, you get your organic tomatoes with the worms in them. Yeah. Yeah, those are great. <laughs> the Love delicious. I get those. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, just spray some stuff on them, man. Get those worms out of there, it's gross. <sighs> You know, she just said she she's researched. She's talking about milk at the grocery store. I don't know if she realizes that like the milk straight out of the cow is not what you what you want. <laughs> that's not what you, that's not what you want. <laughs> she needs any more research. <laughs> as soon as the chickens start squawking and making noise, her neighbors are going to be irritated with it. Like how he's like, as soon as they start making noise and stinking because chickens stink. Yes, they do. Jesus Christ, they smell. Wow. Like we actually can't have a pig where we live, but. Could we buy one and then just have it raised here? And then sure. we'll collect when it's big and fat. Yes. Ready for bacon? Yeah. Can we just rent a pig? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying, the rules, the HOA, you can't have like a pig. Like that's uh, it's specifically to pigs. There's mm. rules. You can't just have a pig if you live uh, where other people live <laughs> <laughs> in society. Yeah. <laughs> in six months, the pages will be able to have bacon every day for a year at hundreds of dollars below store prices. Uh, you know, that might actually be worth it. How much bacon do these guys eat? I mean, apparently, if they only eat bacon at Christmas, then yeah, that will last them a whole year. One pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This had to be like right after Christmas. Yeah, they're like, man, we. Oh, man, that bacon was good. I got some of that goodness. Man, we gotta wait till next year, baby. Let's buy a pig. <laughs> buy a Come pig. Hey, get $30 a month. All right, we're gonna kill that thing real quick. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. And the neighbor, oh. neighbor's already looking oh. like, what? What is this? What? Look at oh that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at how goes. cute. <laughs> That's a great start to having animals in our house, huh? All that money you're saving, you can hook your daughter up with a hair transplant. <laughs> animals! <laughs> All right, kids, go play in the backyard. Be sure to put your boots on because you're going to step in a lot of crap. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't eat it. <laughs> Oh, it scared her. Oh, it'll be fine. Oh, honey, they won't hurt you. Hopefully, this is all staged. We're not actually going to have these animals in our backyard because the chickens are probably just going to fly over the fence anyway. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine when the kids grow up and taste the non watered down juice. <laughs> Plot twist her husband spends all their money on weed and just forced to be a cheesecake to support his habit. <laughs> yeah, well, we can have some farm animals, dude. It'll be cool. <laughs> See the neighbors made tacos again? <laughs> the dad looks like he secretly eats a lot of special brownies since <laughs> <to> his life. <laughs> uh. Ooh, actually, here's her YouTube channel right here. <laughs> yeah, she's saving some yeah, money. Right there. Look, at, look at that money. Just nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so she's a YouTuber. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember actually seeing this when I was looking for the, uh, the, the cleaning mom channels. Yeah. She was one of the ones that don't show her butt the whole time. Okay, I get it. It's like she's uh she's got a successful YouTube career uh of just telling you, you know, yeah, how, you can do this to make your life better, be organized, you can do this to save money. She's been on she's been on television because she's very much just a, a cookie cutter white woman. And uh yeah, <laughs> and she got a T she got on TLC to like, you know, pretend that she's cheap. Nice. Damn. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> thanks for watching this. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>